Hi, welcome to my channel. Today is a discussion video. What is going on inside is going on outside. It's not the other way around. So don't look at what's going on in the outside and then think that you're okay. I can see that, that's why I'm feeling it. There's a, might be just a slight time difference, but it's always inside first and outside after. So how do you work with that? And how quickly can you change a situation by changing your feeling? Literally um, in a split second, um, I did something, it's a personal thing, and I, I can't talk about it, but it, it was huge for me, absolutely huge. And it, it took a month to turn around, but when it, the point that it turned around was the point where I thought it was going horribly wrong and going completely off track and going the opposite of what I wanted. But I am good at bringing myself back and go, I don't get this, this is crazy, but it's got to be part of the bigger picture. And then within half an hour from the point of its worst point, it all turned and went exactly as I wanted but I couldn't see it coming at all. But I turned, I knew that my feeling was getting a little bit like, oh my God, this is going wrong. And I thought, no, you can't do that. Every time you do that, you go with that. That's the energy of it. That's the feeling of it. And you'll go with that then. So stop it. So I just said, no, cannot see for the life of me how this is going to change, but all part of the bigger picture. And then it was, and it changed. And I did it like this. And this is why I want to talk about this. So I was walking around with a feeling state that I wasn't even aware of particularly, but I was saying to myself, oh, this is the situation and I didn't like it. But I was going around and then I, I was talking to somebody at work actually, and he was talking about, it's very difficult for me to say these things without <laughs> saying what the actual thing was. I was talking to somebody and he described a feeling he was having about something. And I thought, oh my God, that's exactly the feeling I've got, exactly. And it was just, I was so aware of it in the moment. I could feel it really quite strong. And I thought, how the hell have I been walking around with this feeling and not noticing it? Because this is what's there, or not, I guess not paying attention to it, ignoring it, I suppose. I'm not quite sure, but anyway, in that moment, and I'm very good at this, and this is, and the reason I'm very good at this is because I've practiced it. It's not because I'm special in any way, I've just practiced it, it's been a skill. So I noticed the feeling and I dropped it in an instant. I thought, well, that is why this is like it is. Um, how the hell do you think anything's gonna change with that feeling? I wasn't mad at myself, but I was quite like interested in the fact that I could go on like that and not notice something. So I'm gonna shut my computer down there because it's gone all, it's gone all screen savey in this, distracting me from the side. Um, okay, so that's what I did. Immediately, I felt better. Oh my God, the relief I felt, you could almost touch it. I just felt so much relief and I didn't care if the situation didn't change at that point because I felt so much better from not having that feeling. I felt free about that situation within and I just, I was at work at the time. I went back, did the rest of the afternoon and just felt so much better. I felt whatever, like whatever. I can't believe that feeling was making me feel like that and I hadn't realized it. But I did set an intention then at that point. I thought, okay, what is your intention? What do you want from this? So I set that intention and I thought, that's what I want, okay. And I got real clarity and I really felt it. And I thought, is there anything opposing that? Or do you really, do you, do you really feel this? A, fear, a free intention? I thought, yeah, I do. And that's, I thought, that's it, I'm not doing anything else. So um, I did make a couple of statements to myself, kind of uh, backing that up, but that's it. I like, I mean, about two statements in that moment and that was it and off I went carried on living my life. <laughs> uh, and then, so a month later, about three weeks later, it really seemed to be going the opposite way. About three and a half weeks later, something happened and, and, uh, and it made me angry. And I thought, geez, this is completely the opposite of what I want. Completely the opposite. And I almost went with that energy. And then I'm very good at pulling myself back. I thought, what are you doing? No, if you go with that energy and feel that, then you're going to get that. Of course you are. Stop. <laughs> I don't, I'm always amazed that I have to remind myself of these things, but I do. Uh, anyway, so I stopped and I thought, this has got to be part of it. Like, because it's actually quite big stuff that's unfolding. So it's got to be the bridge of instance. I just cannot see how this can ever go good. But anyway, I sort of got a bit fascinated with it, tried to make myself a bit fascinated with it, I guess. I did kind of force it a little bit, um, but it forced me into that, yeah, you've got to go with this. And um, whatever, 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 I keep saying to myself, whatever, you're going to be fine, whatever. Um, and then it did all blow up. Um, and then it resolved in half an hour after that blow up. It was so crazy. And like, I'm not even kidding you. It resolved to a point where it's, everything has changed in a half an hour. It seemed like a half an hour. Obviously it was that kind of month leading up to it. Bridge of instance, that all that was, all that bad stuff, that bad shit uh, was leading to the good stuff. So um, it did, and it was 
and it was just a stark reminder to me that it's all about my feelings which is my ICA's energy but really you know let's speak about it in terms of feelings what I was feeling was holding me back and it was holding me in that situation and when I let it go I felt hugely better I felt great actually because I felt like oh my god that feeling was dragging me down but I hadn't even noticed it and now I just feel this light energy nothing better than that so if you see it like that nothing is better than feeling better so whatever else happens is a bonus is the icing on the cake but if I feel better that is got to be the main thing here hasn't it got to be and it is a practice if you're not like me at the moment, so I wasn't like this, I couldn't just let feeling go. I used to say to myself, can you let this go? Can you let this go? And I'd often get no, and I'd go, okay, why? And then I'd get a feeling of why not? And that would just help me. And I'd go, okay, can you decide that you'd like to let this go? And then I would get a yes. And I would kind of work it like that. I don't have to do any of that anymore. I, but that was me like learning something new, learning a new skill. Now I can just drop it in an instant because I can notice it and I know it's going to do me harm. It's going to lead me down the road that I don't want to go down because of course it will, because reality is reading me, reading my feelings and delivering that to me because it can't do anything else. It's not going to suddenly change the rules for me. It's not going to suddenly go, oh, but bless you, you know, uh, let, because it's you. It's not going to do that. We're not special. None of us is special to the universe. We're all the same. So um, that's why I wanted to make this video really. And this was supposed to go, I, I've scheduled some videos and this was supposed to go further down the track, but I really thought it was important and I wanted to put it out now. Um, just hit me as I was drinking my coffee earlier and I thought that kind of needs to be said because, and then my friend, like we were talking about this at work, she said, how can you do that? How do you manage to do that? Because she had had a, a moment where something was going on with her. She thought, what would I, so my other name is Rachel. So she said, what would Rachel do in this situation? Uh, and she thought about that and she said, she said like, God, how, how do you do that? And I said, well, it, it has been a practice for sure. And I've just been so determined that I understand that's what it is. So I need to work with that. And, and that became my mission <laughs> to be able to manipulate, influence energy to change my life. And this has changed my life. It has. It really has. So not only did I feel better, what I wanted has happened. And I'm like, God, that was... I hate to say that was easy because that sounds like I'm being really like, oh, I find it so easy, but actually it was easy. It was easy from the point that I dropped the energy and thought, well, whatever, because that is the best state to be in. If you can be in the state of, well, whatever, honestly, you feel so much better. And when you feel so much better, you're in flow. The bridge of instance can be, I'm gonna do a video on the bridge of instance actually. Um, because it can be so crazy sometimes. And I feel like 50% of my manifestations have come with the craziest bridge of instances. I could not see it coming. I could no way see it unfolding. And I think that's a good thing when it goes negative sometimes because, because you don't see it unfolding, you don't hold it out then, oh my God, it's coming, it's coming. So you don't then get attached to it because you kind of think it's the opposite it's happening, which was in this situation. It looked like the opposite was happening. And I thought, holy shit, I have like, if for a moment I thought I've just gone so far off track and back the other way. Um, but then I thought, no, stop. You have to remind yourself, stop, stop, stop when you feel yourself going off track. This will not do me any good. It's all about my feelings. And my feelings go off this way, then that's what I'm going to see. So I need to stop it. This must be all part of the bigger picture. And like, I'm really not kidding. Some manifestations have happened in such a roundabout way and I haven't seen them coming at all. And then they've happened and I thought, oh, of course, <laughs> but I couldn't see it. So I really understand that actually you have no idea. So reality and the universe are conspiring together. And I reckon they're going, what's the weirdest way that we can bring this so she will not have any idea and she will not get attached to it let's bring it in the weirdest way possible oh look at this way she'd never think of that that's what it seems like to me so anyway i hope this video was useful i just wanted to stress the feeling thing feeling 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 nothing else matters so whatever affirmation she's doing all that stuff it doesn't matter well, that stuff is great if you enjoy it and it leads you to that feeling state that's awesome but it isn't necessary um None of it's necessary. It's just the manipulation of energy. If you can practice that, you're onto a winner. And like I said, you are onto a winner, but I can go a little while with that and not, not notice it. It's so strange. And even when I'm talking about it now, I think, how could you even possibly do that? Like, how could you even possibly go a few weeks and not notice something and not, not realize that you're doing this yourself? Um, and a kind of part of me does, I guess. I don't know, it's weird, isn't it? Because our human brain is so weird. Um, it works in weird ass ways. It's just not helpful, is it, sometimes? 
Um, anyway, it resolves in the end. I never have 100% uh, sort of a 100% definite that it is going to, never have that, but I really do have the whatever much more now. I think with everything now, I have that, and I really like that. I wanna say whatever, I wanna not care so much. I wanna be okay in myself, and me to be okay with whatever's going on around me, because I'm creating all of that, so what's the point in me fighting with what I've created? Absolutely none. Okay, I hope this video was useful. If you've got any questions, please do ask. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, I'd love for you to do that.